Purcell, one of the best uh, host MCs. One of the toughest jobs to do uh, in comedy is to be the MC, is to warm up the audience, is to get everybody, keep everybody motivated. Get, and doesn't she just do a marvelous, marvelous job? Uh, she doesn't realize the gift she has at doing this. My name is Jerry Corley. Most of the guys that you have seen tonight are my students from the Stand Up Comedy Clinic. How about a hand for these guys? They come to my class for eight weeks, they work, they learn the fundamentals of comedy. Some people don't think you can teach somebody funny. You can because it has structure. The number one element that uh, makes people laugh, creates human laughter, is surprise. If you put that into your stories, you have funny. For example, I was just in Reno working at a uh, uh, at the Atlantis Hotel there. I woke up in the hotel room the next morning, the housekeeper's banging on the door, just banging. Finally, I had to get up and let the bitch out. It was the... Uh, <laughs> She was relentless. You see, what I did there is I surprised you. That's comedy. It's that simple. You can do it in any story you want. I have a child. She's five years old, trying to teach her how to tie her shoes. She's like, Dad, I can't. Dad, I can't. I said, How many times have I told you not to use that word? I am not your dad. <laughs> so you just create the assumption that you're going to think I'm going to say one thing and say the other. You laugh. It's that simple. It's really that simple. You can even take one word and make it funny. My buddy of mine just started the other day, he just started saying, jeez, jeez, which of course is short for Jesus, so he's being polite, right? So he's like, jeez, jeez, and I thought, what can I make up funny about jeez? And so I wrote it down, jeez, what else, what else does it sound like? It sounds like the letter, but plural, right? And I thought, what does G, can, what can G be? G can be the cup size of a pretty large bra, right? So I thought, wow, that's funny because my wife has large breasts. And she thought I was psychic when I first met her because I guessed her cup size. She walked into the room and I went, jeez. <laughs> so you see, you can make anything, anything funny. She's back there right now. I'm going, fucker, I told you I'm not to do that joke. Yeah, I've been married. Uh, she is actually my second wife, but uh, I was in many relationships. But I, here's, my, here's my deal. I have four kids from two different moms, none of whom I'm currently married to. Uh, I'm a walking Jerry Springer episode, the only difference, I have all my teeth in a college education. But, uh, but now I, I found the right woman, she's a wonderful woman, she is an airline pilot, that rocks. My, my airline pilot, dude, don't laugh, she'll fucking fly circles around your ass. I, uh, she will, but she, we have an agreement, we, she doesn't work in it, we don't call it the cockpit anymore. We just, uh, any guy would be a little anxious with, her wife, with his wife spending days in a place called the cockpit, you know, reaching on the phone during work, hey honey, how's your day going? That happened in my first marriage, thanks, that's nice. She's learned funny, too. She actually called me the other day. She goes, guess what? Today we have an all-female crew. I go, really? She goes, yeah, today it's the box office. <laughs> this has been the most judgmental audience, has it not been? They're like, ha-ha. <sighs> but these students have been great. They're fantastic. I'm really proud of them to sit back there and watch them do their job and... I want, I want to give out one shout out. Lee Sillant, the guy with the tie, the, the Vietnam guy. Uh, he, I've been working with him for a while. He has a real serious memory problem. Couldn't remember the jokes. So I was like, dude, let's just put them on cards and let everybody know. And so I just have been wanting to do this all his life. And so for him to get up here and do this, it's just a hard one. Really, really, uh, I'm very proud of him. Working, working really hard. He's had to work privately with me because he just can't function around crowds. He kills people. So, uh, <laughs> but he's a lovable guy. So I just, uh, just really, my heart goes out to him. I'm really proud that he's here tonight. Uh, so let's keep it going. Please help me welcome back to the stage, Sally Mullins. Huh? Sure. <laughs> teachers in LA, I can speak from personal experience. Think you're over the shit myself? I don't think so. I was blowing.